Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming at you guys with a brand new Let's Play. This game will be replacing God of War as well as Crash Bandicoot 2 will be replacing um, Sly and Donkey or a Mario game of a hidden variety will be replacing Donkey Kong Country 3. Now, this is the sequel to Spyro 2. This is Spyro 3. Year of the Dragon. Now, for some reason, there's no music here, but there should be. There it is. Uh, let's go with a new game right here. Yes, uh... Because I'm greedy like that. Let's go with money bags. And yes, there are actually quite a few cutscenes in this game. An evil plot unfolds. Great game in the series. Probably the best, in my opinion. A powerful villain emerges. We managed to capture the eggs, your highness. Every last one. Excellent. Maybe you will amount to something after all. Now, go guard the tunnels. Stop anyone from coming through. A desperate rescue begins. Where are the eggs? The holes came out on the other side of the dragon worlds. We found some of the eggs, but they were too heavy to carry back. The other side of the world? The forgotten worlds. Spyro, you'll have to go. Nobody else can fit down the holes. Yeah, come on, let's go! Find the eggs and bring them back, Spyro. You're our only chance. You got it! Man, a reference to the ability that he got at the very end of the last game, which I did 100% complete, so if you guys want to check that out on my channel, please do so. I have a playlist to all the games I've ever played on my channel. And so yeah, you press square to charge, X to jump, X again at the top of your jump to glide, and then if you do that while pressing triangle, you will do that. If you jump and press triangle, you will do your head smash. Uh, L and R just uh, sent to the camera, L2 and R2 rotate the camera in that way. The right analog stick does nothing, the left analog stick slash D-pad allow you to run, circle allows you to flame, and holding down triangle will allow you to look around. You can also climb up ladders by just jumping onto them and pressing up, and you can also swim by doing literally every other mechanic except for the fact that you cannot uh, breathe fire underwater. Now your goal is to collect all the gems of each level, and to collect all the dragon eggs of each level. And that rabbit creature, Bianca, would have gotten away with it, with it, with it, if it wasn't for her stepping on Hunter's tail and him being a big crybaby. But thank God he's a crybaby because it allowed us, you know, to figure out that she was stealing dragon eggs and where they were going. So, anyways, let's grab all of these gems. Uh, you can press select to open up the atlas, and the atlas will allow you to see your progress so far. So, Sunrise Spring Home has 50 out of 400 gems. Home worlds do not have enemies in this game, uh, kind of like Spiral 2. Spiral 1 did have enemies. Uh, our first one is Egg by the Stream, which is, you know, the one 
right over here. I believe if you get close to an egg, you uncover it in the atlas, like, to, like what type of challenge it will be, or if it's the next one on the list, I'm not 100% sure, but we do get tips, and this is Isabel. Ah, oh, what a beautiful fat dragon. Okay. Uh, oh, I thought there was supposed to be a cutscene right here, but I guess not right here. Um, maybe... Eh, whatever. Oh, wait, no, it's up It's up in front of this portal, but anyways, let's talk to Zoe. Hi, Spyro. To look left or right, press the L2 or R2 buttons. To quickly center the camera behind you, press the L1 or R1 button. You can look all around by holding the triangle button down. That's kind of interesting that give us the camera a, uh... Like, camera, camera description early in this game. Usually we have to beat a level or two before we get it. And, what's this? So, you're the one in charge of rescuing the eggs, huh? <laughs> How sad. Look here, dragon. If you know what's good for you, you'll turn around and crawl back up that hole you came through. Those eggs belong to us now, and I've hidden them in places you'll never find in a thousand years. Besides, even if you could find an egg, our expertly trained armies will dispose of you and take it back. Do I make myself clear? If I find you here again, I am going to be very angry. And you won't like me when I'm angry. Okay. I won't like you when you're angry. Now, the tip is, for actually do beating this world and getting enough gems to do everything in a good order, I recommend you actually not do the first portal here first, because you do need to unlock Sheila the Kangaroo, which is over there in a cage, but you need 500 gems, I believe. And to, to obviously do that, we need to go to a different level. And being me, I don't like to leave spiral levels uncompleted, so, or in, incomplete, I should say. So, what I recommend doing is the order that I do stuff in. I do it in the quickest, most efficient manner possible. I am an excellent Spyro uh, care, uh, game player. Actually held the second fastest record for Spyro speedrunning. I just found one of those portal thingamajigs that leads to a different world. But you'll have to glide to get across to it. Press the X button to jump. Then press the X button again while you're in the air to glide. Just follow me. Okay. There's a lot of dialogue in this game. I've come to that conclusion. Now he automatically pulls you in. I saw something shiny in that cave over there. Let's go check it out. You can get there by hovering. To hover, just press the triangle button at the end of your glide. Yep, I already went over this. So they, they just go over all the stuff that I told you about. So I guess I didn't really need to go over it. But this is the level here that I recommend you beat first, and that's Cloud Spires. It's a really easy level, and you can get 100%. Oh, I almost forgot. I found this egg. Wow, that's it? Just, you found this egg. Okay, we have Coltrane. Who names her kid Coltrane? Ooh, it's a cute dragon. It's a green one. Okay, so he's got nothing else for us. And I believe if you time your flying right, there's going to be a secret where you can actually get a bunch of uh, lives. This is a super fly power-up, Spyro. Whenever you walk through any power-up that looks like this one, it will allow you to fly for a while. Okay. It doesn't even tell you how to use it. That's kind of like a bad description, don't you think? But yeah, I'm so glad to be done God of War. I will be doing God of War 2 sometime this year. Because, you know, I really, really would like to get it done. Because it is a good series. Oh, and you can't actually track gems in this game. So if you're missing gems, well, you can't use sparks to help you. Because I believe that's literally one or, one or two of the last abilities that you unlock. Now, to actually progress, you will need to fly. If you time it right, you can actually get a bunch of lives, like I said. So, can you can you please actually look the way I want you to? Right, let's do this. The faster you go up... No, the higher you go up, the faster it goes down. Oh, I have to get the egg, so I can't get the lives right away. But we have Amy, spelt weird. Can't tell if it's Amy or Amai, but... Or Amy. Amy, Mammy, Bobammy. Oh, good. Time to continue down here. And collect 100%. Some weird thing on my screen popped up saying cheese. Yeah, I don't like those new 
ads that they just randomly put into your computer, you know? And it's not like spam, it's literally your computer. Well, if you kill enough fodder, you can eventually get a 1-up, but I don't think we'll need 1-ups in this game, so... Now remember, jump, and then press triangle. And we now have Liam! Liam Neeson! Oh, that's a fat cry, baby. Oh, and now, in this game, we have a new concept to open up stuff. Like, originally it was just, you know, orbs, but in this game, you need eggs. You need ten eggs to open up this level known as Molten Crater, I believe. It's literally like Magma Cone. I believe it even has the same music as Magma Cone. Don't worry, I'll go and talk to those, uh, characters, or our buddies there, er uh, earlier. Soon enough. Just want to get a lot of this done, you know? Collect all these goodies. So I believe Hunter will tell us how to swim, and Zoe will tell us about something else. Let's see. Your game camera is currently in passive mode. This mode requires you to control the camera yourself, and moves more slowly. If you like, I can change the game camera to active mode. In active mode, the camera moves much faster. No, I, I don't really want to change it, but hey, Hunter. I see an egg at the bottom of this lake. I would go get it, but I don't want to get my fur all wet. Maybe you could get it. You can dive underwater by pressing the square button when you're on the surface, and charge underwater by holding down the square button. Pussy. But yeah, he literally told us how to swim. Woo! So anyways, let's collect all of these gems down here. We almost have 100% on this level. We only have 61 more gems to go. And let's see here. Collect all of these loose gems. I believe that's all of them down here. So let's grab ourselves an egg known as Bruce Lee or Bruce Willis. It's a blue dragon. That it can that is apparently not affected by the laws of water. So yeah, when you get 100 percent on a level or on an object in a level, it will pop up like that. And then I believe in this game, it doesn't go the doesn't do the whole doo -doo -doo -doo. it just goes level complete once you get 100 percent So Yay, you don't get any cool thing in this game, but it still lets you know that you got 100 percent so that's always good, right? That's all that matters. Oh no! No! Oh wait, no, never mind. So yeah, I think that does it for this episode. I know it's a little bit of a short episode, but we're going to need as much time as we can get for the next level, or the next part of the game. So if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys all next time for some more.